guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to talk about my favorite lipsticks for the holiday season. Now, most of these are reds. I have a few that are not quite red. I have some like berry tones and some burgundies and one that's a little pinky, but um, I have 10 lipsticks here and some are high-end, some are drugstore, um, like just a big mix of a bunch of different lipsticks that I thought were good that I think are good for the holidays. So I'm gonna share them with you guys. This first lipstick is actually kind of a throwback. I actually had to look up and just make sure that they still sell this because no one really talks about these anymore, but it's the ColourPop Lippy Stick. And I actually also have one of their liners, which um, ColourPop calls a lippy pencil. And these are in the color Bitchette. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little swatch for you. This is like a berry, berry toned lipstick and it's a matte lipstick but it goes on like super creamy and then it eventually dries down to matte so it went by dry down i mean it gives off a matte look it doesn't um dry down like a lot of liquid lipsticks do so i'm gonna um, line my lips first with the lippy pencil <laughs> greatest at putting on cream lipsticks so hopefully I do okay and then this is the lippy sticks the formula of these are so nice I know no one really talks about the color pop lippy sticks anymore but they were like a big thing um, like, I don't know, four or five years ago. Um, but I just think this color is so perfect for the holidays. It's like a nice berry tone. It's kind of like in between like a berry and a red. Like it's not super purpley, like a lot of berry lipsticks. Um, it's just a really nice color. This lipstick in particular, it just, it glides on like butter. I love these lippy sticks. I think I only have three, um, and all three that I have are old. They're like honestly probably expired, um, but I keep them in my collection uh, because I'm trash and I love them and I don't want to buy new ones. But um, it's just a super nice formula. Um, I love that like they have they sell the lip liners in the same color, so that way um, if you're like me and really bad at putting on cream lipsticks, you can line your lips first. And then this color, Bitchette, is also super nice. They're also only $6, which, perfect price point. And then the next lipstick I have is actually just a little mini, but it's the Makeup Forever um, Artist Rouge Matte um, Lipstick. And this is in the color M500, which is red wine. They don't say, it doesn't say red wine on the thing. Um, it just says the number and then you have to look it up. But this is again another like creamy lipstick. It's another berry shade. This one is more purpley and it really is like a true red wine color. So going to put this one on. And this one is a little harder to put on because I feel like this is more of like a true matte lipstick um so it doesn't like glide on like the color pop one did but it's not hard to put on at all as you can see it's like it's a very dark like red wine color on my skin tone since i'm so pale it almost looks like a like really really deep purple but i feel like on darker skin tones this is going to be a really nice red for the holidays i feel like this color in particular is just like really sleek and really sexy if you're like me and you have like really dry lips this lipstick even though it's a matte it does a really good job at like hiding your like fine lines and wrinkles and like cracked areas in your lips which is a huge benefit of this lipstick um it retails for $22 so I just have a little mini like I said but a full size is $22 I actually got this one in a Sephora play bag but I feel like $22 is pretty average for like a higher end lipstick like that one so moving on I think I'm gonna go with another uh alternative like a cheaper alternative so this next one is another um, wine color. It actually is the color wine. It's the e.l.f. Um, matte lip color. And it looks like that. 
this one is more of like a pinky wine. If you hear baby noises, it's because I got my daughter right here. Um, it's more of like a, a kind of got like a pinky undertone to it. Um, but this is, you know, if you're looking for something cheap, um, this one's only three bucks. And also this is um, really easy to apply because it's kind of like got a stick shape to it. And this is another that just glides on like super, super well. I really love these um, e.l.f. matte lipsticks. I, I feel like I don't use them as much as I should just because the formula is so nice. They go on so well. Um, they're not super long lasting, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's also a cream lipstick. So I feel like cream lipsticks in general just aren't going to last as long as a matte um, liquid lipstick. But baby girl, but it's still um, a really good lipstick for the holidays. And then since we're doing berry colors and wine colors, I'm just going to go with my next pick, which is the Too Faced Melted in Berry. Um, this is like a creamy liquid lipstick. And um, this is actually, these Too Faced Melted lipsticks are some of my favorite formulas. They're super like glossy and just comfortable on the lips. Again, not super long lasting, but they are just so, so comfortable. And it's really hard to put on because it's, so glossy so that's like kind of a downside but the upside is that it's so hydrating on your lips like all the other lipsticks are matte this one because it is glossy it just makes your lips look so hydrated and plump and I love it and again really hard to put on I would recommend putting this on with a lip liner and this um, retails for $21 and these are actually like kind of they're getting harder to find I just looked at Too Faced website Too Faced website still has all of the colors of these melted um like the original melted lipsticks on their site but like Ulta and Sephora have discontinued not discontinued because Too Faced still sells them but they don't sell as many colors as they used to I feel like a few years ago again like maybe four to five years ago these were like the it lipstick everyone was like raving about these just because they're so so comfortable i still absolutely love them um they're still one of my like honestly one of my favorite lipstick formulas um but again i would recommend using a lip liner to put them on and this color is again just like a really nice berry color for holiday time and i know that i'm starting off with the berry tones but I do have some like true reds that I'm going to be sharing with you guys as well. I just personally I prefer like berry tones because usually berry toned lipsticks are like on the cooler side and I feel like warm toned lipsticks make my teeth look yellow so that's why I personally gravitate towards berry tones for holidays and when I want to wear red lips. Um, so yeah so moving on next is like a dark lipstick and this is the Ofra. Um, this is the Ofra Havana Nights. This is the collab, one of the collabs with Kathleen Lights. And this is a darker red, but um, it's almost like a purple. But I saw someone recently on TikTok actually wearing a color similar to this, like with their like Christmas dress. And I was like, that is freaking sexy. Like this isn't a color I would normally gravitate to toward for the holidays just because it is like it's still in the berry tones but it's a very dark berry. I would most likely wear this like for Halloween or something um, like in fall time when I want to look a little spooky but like I said I saw someone on TikTok wearing this with like um, I don't even remember what color their dress was but it was a holiday dress. It was um just like a cute little cocktail dress with this lip and I was like that is so sexy for Christmas time. So that is why I picked this color um, uh, in particular. So again, this is super dark on me. But again, um, if you have a darker skin tone than I do, this is probably going to look a lot more festive on you than on me. I feel like, I still feel like, you know, when I look in the mirror, this looks very like Halloween-y and witchy. But like I said, it looked really sexy on 
the woman on TikTok. I wish I saved her TikTok so I could put like a picture of it on here. Um, and then also darker skin tones. I feel like this is again going to be one that um, is going to come off a lot more festive and not so much like witchy like it does on me because against my pale skin it just looks really really dark. And this one retails for $20 on Ofra's site. I didn't realize Ofra lipsticks were um, that expensive because it's probably because all of the over lipsticks I own I've gotten in subscription boxes, um, but I didn't realize they were that much. Alright, so next let's go back to one that's a little more affordable. So I have another ColourPop and this is a ColourPop liquid lipstick in the color of London Fog. Let me look up the price. And this is $7 and, and this one is like, I feel like this is a true red, like a true cool toned red. So now we're kind of moving away from the berry tones. Um, and what I like about this one in particular is it is red, but it is cool tone, so it's not going to make your teeth look as yellow. Because like I said um, a little bit ago, a lot of warm toned lipsticks, and I actually have a couple, I have one here that's warm toned actually. Um, they just, they make my teeth look really, really yellow when I wear them. So I try to stay away from them and opt for cool tone lipsticks. <music> getting very lazy when it comes to putting these on because this is my what sixth sixth lipstick I've put on but this is an ultra matte lipstick and so it does dry down matte Colourpop does have ultra satin lipsticks um liquid lipsticks like this that don't dry down as much I honestly I kind of prefer the matte ones just because I like my lipstick to stay all day if I drink something I would like it I prefer it to stay on and not have to reapply it um, even though it does dry down and kind of like get into your fine lines and wrinkles and like cracked and dry skin if you have dry lips um, I'm willing to take that in order to not have to continuously reapply my lipstick so that is why um, I kind of have a preference for matte liquid lipsticks. Okay guys, so my camera died, I had to charge it, but I am back. My swatches are gone because I did stuff for like two hours that um, I was charging my camera. But moving on, this next lipstick is actually one that they don't sell anymore because it was limited edition, but um, they sell ones that are similar to it. And I want to talk about this one mostly for the formula and it is the Too Faced Melted Matte. This is in the color Cinnamon Bear, which was part of their holiday collection last year. And these Too Faced Melted Matte lipsticks are my favorite lipstick formula. They are drying, but these things do not budge when they are on your lips. They last so long. Like I said, I have the color Cinnamon Bear here, but they also have another red called Lady Balls, which looks, based on the pictures online, it looks very, very similar to this one. But just by looking at it on the website, this shade of red it looks very, very similar to Cinnamon Bear, like in tone and everything. So um, it retails for $21. I'm going to give it a little swatch. It's kind of like a, like almost a burnt red. It is cool toned, but it's kind of got like a little burnt look to it. So. Here's what this one looks like. I love this color, this shade of red on me personally. I just feel like this color goes really good with my skin tone. Like it's very, like I said, it is kind of like a burnt red. It kind of has like a burnt color, burnt, a burnt tone to it. I don't know, I just really like it. I feel like it just makes my teeth look really white, which I feel like that's just how red lipsticks are. They're either gonna make your teeth look super, super white, or they're gonna make your teeth look really really yellow and in my case in my experience warmer color reds kind of make your teeth look a little yellow even if they look like really really good on you and then you smile then they make my teeth look yellow anyways so this is um, Too Faced in Cinnamon Bear you might be able to find it like because it is um 
like I said, it's it was part of a set that Too Faced sold last Christmas. You might be able to find it at like Marshalls or something, or maybe someone would be selling it like on Poshmark or eBay. But like I said, the color Lady Balls, just based on pictures on Too Faced website, looks very, very similar. And it also, like, look how fast it dries down. It dries down so, so fast. It's just like, it's a really nice matte lipstick. I love the Too Faced Melted Mattes. Like I said, they're my favorite lipstick formula ever. This next one is another nice, like, cool toned red. And this is the Pop Beauty Meg's Cahill collab. Um, this is in the color Chakra. Um, I did an entire video talking about, like, Pop Beauty and um, the Meg's Cahill collab and I love this color. Mine is actually kind of dry. Um, so hopefully it'll uh, work out okay. But this has like, it's kind of another one with like a little bit of a pinky undertone. This is another really nice matte lipstick. It dries down really nicely. It's not as long lasting as the Too Faced lipstick, um, but it lasts pretty long. It lasts longer than like a cream lipstick would. love this color. It's, it's kind of like on the pinkier side, but I just think it's such a beautiful red. I am starting to look crazy because my foundation is like off around my lips. I just think this is such a beautiful color and these lipsticks I believe are only $8. So again, this is like a really um, another like more affordable option if you're looking for um, like something cheaper. I believe Pop Beauty, I could be wrong, but I believe they are like an online only company at the moment. I don't think they're sold in any stores yet, um, but please, like, if I'm wrong on that, let me know down in the comments below. I've never seen Pop Beauty in any stores. I don't think they sell it like Ulta or anything. Um, so this is one that like, if you want it, I'm pretty sure you have to order it online. Okay, so this next one, is more of a warm toned lipstick. It is a Stila liquid lipstick in the color Besso. Now, um, Stila liquid lipsticks smell so bad, but they are so long lasting. And that's, that's kind of like what you gotta give up is <clears throat> if you want a really nice long lasting lipstick, this is one that will last you all day long. Like it lasts so long. As soon as you put it on your lips, it's not gonna budge. But it smells so, so bad. Like, every single one of them smell like like burnt plastic or gasoline or something. And so I have, personally, like, a really hard time wearing them. But they're really, really long-lasting. So this is in the color Besso. This is, um, like, a warm-toned red or a more warm-toned red. And honestly, this is, like, I would call this, like, a true red. Um, as you can see, it's just, like, it's a bright red. Like, it looks like... If you are pulling a red crayon out of a crayon box, this is the color you're going to get. But this is one that kind of makes your teeth look a ye little yellow. So, ugh, that, just that smell I can't get past. But the formula, oh my gosh, the formula is just so nice. It goes on like super smooth. It's gonna last you all day long if you're wearing it like to work or something early in the morning. It's gonna last you until the evening. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see. Even just the viewfinder, I feel like my teeth look yellow, like more yellow than they did with the other lipsticks. That's like the one downside because it really is. It's such a beautiful color. It's like honestly a true red, like a perfect Christmas red but makes my teeth look a little yellow. And then just this lipstick in general just smells not good. So there's this one. Um, I love this color so much. I just wish it didn't give the illusion that my teeth are even more yellow. And now that I have totally messed up my foundation in this area, I have one more lipstick that I wanna show you and this is the Ciate Glitter. Lip. Now this is in the color Infamous, which is actually a pink color. It's not a red. This is the only color I have. But the reason I want to include this is because this is that lipstick that kind of went viral for like if you like pop your lips like that. Um, it makes your lips glittery and like 
what better time to have glittery lips than the holidays like this is not something that I would wear every single day I don't necessarily want to walk around with like a bunch of glitter on my lips but for the holidays like this is the perfect time to wear something like this and be a little out there um and do something a little different especially like new year's the new year's is the perfect time for a color like this so um let me actually look it up because i'm sure they have a red color yes they have a color called scandal red i however do not own that color this is the only color i own it's kind of like a nude mauve color um you can already see it's not even like popped <laughs> popped i don't know what to call it like i haven't even done the thing to make the glitter appear and already on this swatch i don't know if you guys can see but i can already see the glitter so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on <laughs> Oh my goodness okay and then you just like give it a second to get a little bit tacky and then you and now can you guys see I think you can see now there's big chunks of silver glitter on my lips oh and I think there's even a little bit of pink glitter too or maybe just like an illusion. I think it is silver and pink glitter for this color, which, like I said, was infamous. Isn't that just so fun, though? Like, especially for the holidays and New Year's, like, this is the time when I personally would wear something like this. I'm more like, I'm most likely to wear something like this during this time of year. I might even wear this on New Year's. I don't know what I'm wearing, like, dress-wise on New Year's yet, but, um, I will probably wear this just because I like to get all decked out and like glitter and stuff on New Year's. So I'm going to go ahead, um, take this off because I put it on very messily and then I'm going to redo my foundation because I've wiped off quite a bit of it around my lips and also my lips and kind of like the outer line of my lips are pretty stained now after, um, doing 10 different red lip swatches but that is it for today's video those are my 10 different lipsticks that are perfect for the holidays i hope you guys enjoyed if you have a favorite lipstick for this time of year a favorite color a favorite brand let me know in the comments below and that is it i will see you guys in my next one thanks for watching mm -hmm.